Welcome to A level and AP physics a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence in today's class We will discuss a complex DC circuit problem from Cambridge ES physics and this question is from March 2021 we will solve this question using different approaches and that will help you to improve your understanding of DC circuits first of all Let's try to understand what is given to us for this question for this question, it is given that a cell of electromotive force E and negligible internal resistance, it simply means that R is equal to zero, means small r, is connected in the circuit and the circuit is shown here. It is also given to us that the voltmeter has a very high resistance. It simply means that this is kind of ideal voltmeter. We can treat this voltmeter as an ideal voltmeter and there is no current passing through this one because it has very high resistance. It is also given to us that voltmeter reads a potential difference and that is equal to V out. It simply means that the reading on this voltmeter is equal to V out. And question is asking us we need to find the ratio between V out and E. Now, how we can answer this? Let's try to understand more about this circuit. Let's say this point is point A and this point is point B and this is C and this is D. You can also call junction A, junction B, junction C and D. If we look at this point P and this is connected with negative terminal of the cell, we can say potential at B, this is equal to zero volt because we are assuming that negative terminal is at zero potential now if we look at point a then simply you can say that the potential at point a is equal to e because this is directly connected with positive terminal of power supply means in this case positive terminal of cell so this terminal is positive and this one is negative terminal of this cell now let's move on to next concept now if i ask you what is potential at point c you will also simply say potential at c is equal to zero volt why because there is no resistor connected between b and c or you can simply say this is just an ideal wire now the next thing what we need to understand is that let's try to connect a voltmeter let's say if we connect a voltmeter between a and b let's say this is voltmeter one so the reading on this voltmeter one will be equal to e minus zero simply is equal to e let's take another voltmeter and connect between a and c so between A and C, let's say this is voltmeter V2, we can say this is voltmeter 2. And if you look at the potential at this point is 0 volt and potential at A is equal to E. So the reading on this voltmeter also is equal to E. So this is the first very basic concept you need to understand. The potential between means the potential difference between a b is equal to potential difference between a c let's try to redraw the circuit before we find the ratio between v out and e so this is how we can redraw our circuit our voltmeter is connected across four ohm resistors so we can connect our voltmeter here and the reading on this voltmeter means the potential difference across this one is equal to v out and this point is point A as we have already labeled here. So this is point A and this point is this is point B and this point is point D as you can see here after 2 ohm resistor and this point is point C. We have already discussed that the potential difference between A and C are you can also say at this point and this point mean the potential difference between this point, this point, R between A and C is equal to E. So I will just connect another voltmeter here so you can see easily. So this is another voltmeter that is connected here. Then that is connected between A and C. Then the reading on this voltmeter is equal to E. Now, if you look at this part of the circuit, you can see this is just like the potential divider circuit potential divider circuit you no need to worry about this one even you can ignore this now if you look at this point let's say current i is coming 
and in this case current i is coming so i will pass through 2 ohm resistor and also through 4 ohm resistor that if we look at this circuit carefully now emf is across 6 ohm resistor but v out is across 4 ohm resistor but the same current is passing through these two resistor we can simply say that the current passing through 4 ohm resistor is equal to the combined current passing through 2 ohm and plus 4 ohms we can say 6 ohm resistor this is 6 ohm the voltage the potential difference across 4 ohm resistor is equal to v out and the resistance of this one is 4 and the potential difference across 6 ohm means across 2 and 4 ohm resistor this is equal to e so we can write down this is e and the total resistance of 2 and 4 this is 6 then simply you can find out the ratio between v out and e so v out over e this will be simply 4 by 6 ah uh, this is equal to 2 by 3 so our final answer will be d